Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to August of 2022. Yeah, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope this message, this reading, this video finds you well. So this is going to be a reading for the month of August for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as it all is not necessarily going to resonate for everyone. Also keep in mind, Gemini, that this is a timeless reading, even though this is a channeled message coming through for you in the month of August of 2022. It can resonate for you at any moment in your life, yeah? Just keep that in mind. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and then it resonates in that moment, and that's the message for you in that moment, yeah? Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and you haven't done so already. Getting engaged with the channel actually really helps me to pick up on your energy. It Honestly, you guys, it may sound or seem cliche, and it may seem like um, just another way of like, you know, getting people to subscribe and leave comments or whatnot, whatever, to in interact with the channel and the videos. But really, it does help. I know many people say this. Um, many of us channelers and readers do say this. And it really, it is quite true. Like, especially if you were to leave a comment, regardless as to whatever, whatever your name is in your profile or whatever picture is in the profile, you leaving your comment does leave an energetic stamp within your energetic stamp within the situation and that will help me pick up on it, your energies so if you're looking for more p readings or messages potentially for you personally definitely um, allow yourself to get engaged if you feel so inclined but also if you would like a personal reading with me i am available for that check the information in the description box below where i list the readings that i offer and my email address shoot me an email let me know you're interested and i will be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up yes yes gemini all right, excellent. I'm gonna give this two more shuffles for you, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, and we will get into your message for this moment, uh, for this time period, Spirit is saying. So for you, oh, also, um, there seems to be some sort of work that's going on outside my apartment right now. I'm sorry if that distracts you, but we're gonna power through, yeah? I'm gonna give this one last shuffle, but Gemini, ooh, that is some hot coffee. Okay, <laughs> Gemini, um, I'm seeing blue for you right now. I'm hearing per a personal sense of authenticity. I'm sorry, hold on just a second. Wait, I got it, hold on. Sorry about that, Gemini. I needed to, to investigate what was going on right outside my apartment, but it's all good. Um, okay, so Gemini, personal authenticity for you here. I gotta give this one last shuffle. Um, I'm seeing blue for you, but also Gemini, I often see blue for the air signs, which is what you would be one of. Um, so, and really all I'm getting with this, with this blue energy or right for you right now is a personal sense of authenticity, but I keep hearing lacking in that you, oh gosh, excuse me. You may be going through a period right now, Gemini of, I just heard expressing yourself fully or being confronted with the reality of needing to express yourself fully for some reason, okay? Overall energy at the bottom of the deck for you right now is the Queen of Cups. I feel like there's there may actually be some sort of emotional turmoil that's going on for you at your at your at, in your life at this time. And also the blue energy that I was seeing for you is kind of resonating with this queen of cups energy because you know blue is often a color that is uh, associated with the sky but also with water um and what i'm getting with this i'm hearing gemini i'm hearing lacking in a sense of per personal authenticity and what's and i'm getting this feeling Gemini, that it's like you're being confronted by this, or it may feel or seem like some sort of personal affront, whether it is the reality of your situation that you're experiencing or just the fact that your emotions are coming up in this way that are causing you to question how it is you express yourself. There's some sort of emotional turmoil that is representing this, that is showing you this, that is coming up for you, and is kind of is leading you down a path right now of getting into alignment with a greater sense of personal authenticity that I feel like once you really get that sufficiently underway, your emotion, any sort of emotional turmoil that you're experiencing right now could be cleared up. And yet I'm definitely feeling resistance here. Okay, let's get it. What's going on for Gemini at this time? Please spirit, what message do we have for Gemini at this time? 
I'm hearing lacking in a sense of personal authenticity. Look at that. And the very first card that comes out for you, Gemini, is the Ten of Wands. See, here's the thing. Anything else? Can we get one last card for Gemini, please? One last card. Yep, there it is right there. Okay, here's the thing, Gemini. Again, I, I, it's like spirit is like a broken record right now, but that's but but you know that your intuition is speaking to you when it says something consistently over and over and over again. It's a very steady message. The message doesn't change. It's when you're being when you're under the influence of say maybe like an egoic energy where things start to flip flop and you'll get different messages at different times, um, maybe even one right after another. You know, maybe even conflicting messages, but. When your intuition, when your higher self, when your when when spirit is connect, communicating with you and they have a message for you, they're going to continue to say it over and over and over again, the same way, bringing you the same message until you really start to understand. And what I'm hearing for you, Gemini, is a lack of personal a personal sense of authenticity. And then here you go. Your first card is the Ten of Wands, and this seems to be the effect that this lack of personal authority, or I'm sorry, authenticity, is having on your life. You're carrying these burdens of ways you need to be, or ways you need to respond, or ways you need to act, ways you need to show yourself, where you ways you need to carry yourself in relation to the collective or whatever's going on in your life. And that's, cre that's creating a burdensome energy for you. It's become a burden. You know, it's overbearing is what I'm hearing. Next, you have the King of Swords reversed. Ooh. And the Page of Pentacles reversed. Ooh. Very interesting. You know, a lot of the same energies have been coming through. This time with these rounds of readings for the month of August, I'm going in chronological order. Sometimes I do it by by element, and sometimes I do it in chronological or, order. This time I'm, I started with Aries, and I'm going to go all the way down to Pisces in order. Aries, Taurus, and now Gemini, you all have a similar, a very, very similar energy here. And all of you have gotten the King of Swords in some way so far. Um, what I'm hearing for you, Gemini, the King of Swords could represent you because the King of Swords would represent an air sign. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on a second. Okay, so King of Swords in reverse. Uh, well, King of Swords. The King of Swords can represent you, Gemini, anyway, because it's representative of air. And I'm definitely feeling you here. Okay. I keep hearing a lack of sense of personal authority or personal authenticity. Okay, how does this also hold on? Okay, and then at the bottom of the de of the deck is the three of pentacles. All right. So what I'm hearing for you, Gemini, is that you're in a process or a time period in your life right now of cleaning this up, ironing this out. Three of Pentacles does represent a level of self-mastery, working on yourself, working on building a situation, working on refining is really what I, what I want to say for you, Gemini. Refining a certain situation in your life, Three of Pentacles. Maybe going back to the drawing board, even in a sense, in terms of, I think it, I want to say your personal self-beliefs. Something very personal to you as an individual. When I'm getting with this energy here, Ten of Wands, King of Swords in Reverse, and the Page of Pentacles, there's something, it feels kind of like the past, but it also kind of feels like the present and or future. In the past, it was, you have, been, well, you have been carrying these burdens, Ten of Wands. King of Swords is reversed, though, which is basically like, feeling like an energy of you being commanded to do something, not really being discerning in whether you whether it's right for you to accept whatever it is you have accepted that has ultimately created this level of burden for you it, this might be an energy of a little bit of blind faith here maybe 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 take it as it resonates maybe there this is to differing in degrees here for you uh but ultimately and this is where the kind of current energy off into the future kind of comes into play. You have this page of pentacles in reverse here. There has been a lack of objective thinking, Gemini, that has put you in a position to be blocked from some sort of 
I want to say new reality that you could be stepping into or at least building a reality or having a sense of reality that actually may be more in alignment with who you truly are. This King of Swords in reverse here, the lack of objectivity is what has been blocking this new reality for you here, Page of Pentacles. And so I feel like this is all wrapped up into a moment of you being, you trying to decide because your overall energy here is the Three of Pentacles. I'm very much getting back to the drawing board for you in, in some way, all right? Uh, so let's clarify some things. I want to clarify this King of Swords in reverse first. Clarify the King of Swords in reverse for Gemini, please, Spirit. First card is the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that, okay? Re uh, similar to this Page of Pentacles here. Clarify the King of Swords in reverse for Gemini. They said that's an F. Okay, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Wow. Okay. And then the King of Cups. Again, the King of Cups has come out for all three of you today so far. Uh, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. All right. You could be res. So you, you could resonate with all of those readings. I don't know. You could have a Taurus Aries placement. You, I don't know. In some way, ooh, in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Ooh, sorry, guys. I totally just like meh. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, the King of Cups has come out for all of you here, and he's and ironically enough, maybe it's not ironic, but. Call it what you will. It, the King of Cups has come out in, in a way that it's saying the same thing for all of you. Okay? The same thing that it said for Aries and Taurus, it's now saying for you, Gemini. The King of Cups is rep representing a level of um, emotional stability. What I'm getting for you here, Air, not Aries, I'm sorry, Gemini, is that you're gaining a level of personal stability or at least your emotions... I'm sorry, personal emotional stability or emotional maturity, or at least it's like your emotions are welling up so much is what I'm getting that ultimately you really, your best, you, I mean, obviously you have a choice as to whether or not you're gonna handle it or not, but really you are at this point almost obligated to recognize this for yourself, to sit in this emotional tidal wave that's coming through for you here or this emotional storm and say to yourself, okay, what is this truly trying to tell me? Like, what does this really mean? And it's saying to you that you could receive an opportunity here, Ace of Pentacles, that would be way more in alignment with you and or would bring a greater sense of reciprocity towards you into your life. Ace of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles. And it seems with the Knight of Wands here that you're getting fired up towards it. Like you're you're inspired. This, it, 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 this feels good. I was going to say it almost feels good, but like why almost? It does feel good. There may be a sense of passion that is re-entering into your life right now with the possibility of should you clear this emotional wreckage up, you could be in a much better place in your life. Absolutely. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles represents that, the Six of Pentacles, the potential of the Page of Pentacles here, that all represents something brand new and maybe even more fun and exciting for you. We all know how, how Gemini loves to be excited, and I love that too. Maybe you have... In terms of all this energy, Gemini, maybe you lost a sense of wonder and this Knight of Wands represents the rekindling of that sense of wonder, that childhood sense of excitement or whatnot, whatever. I'm getting the King of Swords energy in reverse, which is right here. I did just hear, don't be such a curmudgeon. Ooh, yeah, Gemini, don't be such a curmudgeon. Like, allow yourself to live, be free. Now I just heard, be free or die trying. I mean, that's a little extreme, but hey, take it as it resonates. <laughs> All right. Page of Pentacles in reverse. What's the Page of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini spirit? Page of Pentacles in reverse. What's the Page of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node? Eight of Wands. That's good. King, ooh. Oh my goodness. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, Four of Swords is reversed right now okay and i just got dumped on as you can see so give me a moment here i just heard live free or die trying again that might be something you're really resonating with right now it may be a phrase that you are also tuning into be careful that is a little extreme but i get the sentiment behind it i i i, I respect that so okay just don't take it too far right eight of wands king of pentacles reversed Eight of Cups, aha. Okay, 
Let me start here because you do have four more cards that are representing this. I actually, I want to take this also, the Hierophant. So the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles both represent Tauran energy. They represent status quo, fixed energies here, societal standards, societal um, belief systems, whatnot, whatever. Uh, 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 the King of Pentacles reversed for you, Gemini, can absolutely represent a previous sense of self. I see the King of Pentacles as, in some cases, as an individual who is very solid in themselves, very grounded in the, within themselves, is either very much aware of who it is that they are, or at least at this point, uh, very much settled into uh, a level of being a certain person or showing up a certain way, having certain experiences in your life that have shaped and molded you into the person that you find yourself to be right now. But that person or that sense of self is changing. King of Pentacles reversed. You are releasing that part of yourself or the page of Pentacles here in reverse, which would represent a new, a new start to your reality, technically is what I'm hearing. By you release or the, the, the page of Pentacles in reverse is saying to you that in order for you to take up this new sense of self or start this new reality for yourself, in order to clear the way for that eight of wands, you are going to need to release a previous sense of yourself. King of Pentacles reversed. Then that takes us to the Eight of Cups and the Hierophant. You are walking away from some sense. I'm hearing personal self-conditioning. Personal conditioning, all right? The status quo energy, what your reality has shaped you into. You are walking away from that, okay? With that, you have the Seven of Wands. There is a level of defensiveness, but also keeping up boundaries. Uh, I'm definitely getting, especially here with the Two of Wands, I'm getting a level here uh, Gemini, of you holding a boundary in terms of a previous sense of self so that you can choose what is right for you next. And then finally, with that, you have the tower. All right. Big, big change. Big, sudden change. The sudden aspect of this change that I'm feeling here represented by the tower is going to be a sudden change for the people around you. It's not so sudden for you because, I mean, it might be somewhat but I feel like this is something ultimately that has been growing and building over time. So the reality of this change really isn't a big surprise to you, but it may be a huge surprise to the people around you. Okay, either way, ultimately, this is all translating into a massive shift in your, in your reality. Again, it's not, a, it's not a surprise to you, but it still feels like it's really, really big. A big change. A, a big deviation from who it is you used to be, but I am not reading or saying deviation from that is a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. Ultimately, it's a good thing because it's clearing the way, clearing the pathway for you, Eight of Wands, to take up a new reality, to start a new reality, Page of Pentacles, which is reversed. Okay, so then awesome. Let's look at this Ten of Wands then. All right. Ten of Wands. Show us the Ten of Wands for Gemini. All right. Well, the Five of Wands wanted to just show itself here. There is a level of release that's happening here. Um, release or uh, a, a mourning period because you have to let go of something, right? But it, it, and yet, even though it's the Five of Cups here, which can represent a mourning period, feelings of sorrow, regret, and loss. Ultimately, what I'm getting with this is that it's showing up or the Five of Cups is showing up at this time to help clarify the Ten of Wands because, I mean, you're releasing something. So obviously, there's going to be some sort of remorse or uh, I'm hearing maybe regret or feelings of loss or uh, of, of needing to grieve, but it feels more relieving than it does really feeling like you're grieving much of anything, okay? I mean, you, you're very well maybe grieving, depending on your circumstances, but ultimately that grief is overwhelmed by a sense of relief that I'm feeling also of releasing yourself from these burdens represented by the Ten of Pent I'm sorry, the Ten of Wands. Okay, clarify the Ten of Wands for Gemini, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Gemini. Bam, first card out for you here. Well, they all came out at the same time, but the first card, the only card that has come out up face up for you is the sun. That is beautiful. That's the sun is optimism, is clarity, is expression, is happiness, is fun. But the sun also represents 
awareness. But what I'm hearing for you, Gemini, is stark awareness, okay? Sometimes when the sun comes out and reveals things to us, it can feel like we're getting burned, okay? It could feel like a sunburn or you, like, you know, you got a sunburn somehow. But really, when you get burned by the sun in this way, I've been saying this for the longest time now, but when you get, when you get burned by the sun in this way, it's one of the best things that can happen to you because it's bringing you clarity at least in this case, it's bringing you clarity in terms of what has been holding you back, where your strife has been, where the burdens have been, and also where the boundaries need to lie in relation to that. Excellent. With this, you have the boop, the seven of swords with the four of wands. Okay, so I was kind of picking up on this anyway. I didn't mention it, but I'll mention it now because we have this four of wands. This could very much be relation to your family, in relation to family. It could be with this hierophant energy here. It could be uh, family traditions or some sort of familial conditioning that you seem to be, I want to say, waking up out of. There was a false sense of stability, a false sense of foundation, I want to say. Seven of Swords, Four of Wands. But you're becoming aware of that. And it, maybe it's not necessarily so much that it's false. It could just be that this, re, this foundation that you've been expressing yourself from, this spiritual or energetic or creative foundation represented by the Four of Wands, could have been a foundation that you were expressing yourself from at one point, but at this time, it no longer works for you. It's deceiving, it's deceptive, it, 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 it steals from you, it steals your energy, it leaves you feeling depleted in some ways. Well, well, well. And then, finally, back to that Five of Cups as your overall energy in relation to the Ten of Wands. I don't want to trivialize this for you guys. I do feel like for some of you, this really could be a serious grieving moment, especially if this has anything to do with family. Although I do, I'm picking up very heavily that this has a lot to do with the conditioning you've, you have assimilated from or received from your family. So yes, this could very much be a grieving period for you. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely in no way am intending to trivialize that. I do want to say, Gemini, that even though you may be grieving at this time, um, as because for some of you, I'm picking up that there are actually some sort of family traditions that you might no longer resonate with or you may be in the process of releasing. Uh, but even though you may be grieving at this time, there is a, a strong sense of relief and subsequent fulfillment that comes from this grieving process in terms of whatever it is you have lost or are losing or are gearing up to let go of or to release from your life, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy for you, Gemini. I'm really liking this. So, with that said, let's get your closing message in terms of this reading. So, closing messages for Gemini to close out this reading. Please, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Ooh, Ace of Cups and Temperance. Yes, 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 yes. Overall energy is the Four of Swords. So a clear and relaxed mind, making sure that you're keeping a clear mind so that you can see things objectively. Maybe even taking up a meditation practice for some of you. That's really excellent. Uh, but whatever it is you're going through or the closing message that you have right now is this is all being influenced by a greater sense of self-love. You have the Eight of Cups. I'm sorry, not the Eight. You have the Ace. You did have the Eight of Cups come out here, but you have the Ace of Cups as your closing message with Temperance. So however it is that you are called to uh, bring balance into your life, bring a greater sense of balance into your life, maybe even reorder your life. That's so funny. I just saw, um, I have an old box of checks from my bank here on one of my, on one of my countertops and it says reorder checks online here. But as I was talking through or about to uh, mention the, the, the temperance card, my eyes were taken to the reorder energy. So there is a sense of reordering your life or reorganizing your life. And however that is happening for you, Gemini, during this time, it is all indicated, or no, I'm sorry, it's all dictated by a sense of self-love, ace of cups. So you're, I feel like you're accepting yourself in some ways in some new ways that you may have been unable to do in the past. You're accepting your reality for what it is. You are accepting what it is you want to have in your reality for what it is. And from this sense of unconditional love that is flowing in from the universe towards you that I definitely feel like you are holding or I have an, or, or, or have the ability to take advantage of at this time, that is from where you are 
reordering your life and getting into this greater sense of self and subsequently greater sense of authentic expression and authenticity. Yes. Beautiful Gemini. I love this for you. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to leave it there. I hope this was helpful for you. Please smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Get involved, yeah? Uh, um, also, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email and I will be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. But with that said, Gemini, I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Beauty <laughs> Bye.